Hey guys, real quick while I'm finishing burning out that pot, um, I see a lot of people wear their neck knives all the time. They've got them tied in neat little knots and everything. I don't, and I've mentioned this before on there, the main reason being if I fall um, or if on the odd occurrence I'm, you know, somebody attacks me, I don't want them to use this as a weapon. Now, even after I've come up here and snatched out my knife, they can still use this as a weapon. Uh, somebody gets behind you and they're pulling on it, they can obviously choke you with it. Or if you fall in the woods, uh, you slip down the side of a ditch bank or ravine, anything like that, this can get hung up. What I've done for years, I tie a slip knot, just a regular everyday slip knot, and then I will take the other end of my paracord and stick it in that knot. Now I've left that, I've, I've melded it, but I've left it smooth. So there's not a lot of sharp edges on that. Just give your knot a little pull. And it's... I didn't make my knot tight enough. Sorry about that. There we go. The knot's tight enough that after you put this in and give it a little tug, it's on there. This isn't going anywhere. I can use it. It's right there where it needs to be all the time. Tuck it under my shirt. Nobody knows it's there. But if it gets snatched, it pops right off. Um, and, you know... I'm not a paranoid person, but we live in a time today to where getting attacked or getting jumped or mugged or anything like that is a fairly obvious thing. It's going to happen sooner or later. I can get this out. Now this is, you know, K-Bar makes a really good knife, uh, knife sheath for these Becker knives they're making now. That is the Becker 11 or the Becker Necker as they call it. You can see I've wrapped it in an orange 450 cord because it's a little bit smaller takes up less room um, one of my little tubes came off I don't I didn't want to melt the end of these I just put some shrink wrap tubing on it but it's now come off but uh just made a little lanyard on the end of it give me something to run a finger through if I need to so if I do have to stab down onto something that's not going anywhere I love this a little bottle opener I hadn't found a bottle tree in the woods but if I ever do got a bottle opener um, plenty of points to lash it to a pole if you wanted to make a little spear out of it but said it'll come out all day long. It's not going anywhere just by bouncing around. But then my neck sheath will snap off in a heartbeat if I need it to. Um, I'm not worried about losing it when I'm walking through the woods because usually if I'm actually, you know, hiking through or trekking through, I've usually got it tucked inside my shirt or at least behind a light jacket. So there's not much chance of it getting snatched off by a tree limb or anything. But that's it. That's just how I carry mine. I know everybody's got their opinions, but for me, safety is number one. Because I do love my wife. I do want to go back home and see her. Just figured I'd share that real quick.